guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here it's planet tv and on this channel we talk about lifestyle we do vlogging we do cooking videos we talk about business we do a little bit of everything so if you want to belong to this family just go ahead and hit that subscription button down below and also do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that whenever a new video is being uploaded you will be notified today is another business video and on this video i will show you the two main apps used for online shopping in china okay there are so many apps but i'll just be showing you the two main apps which are being used here in um for online shopping so in china there are so many online apps like so many so so many but there is this two main app that is popularly used like everyone uses it majority of the of the population here do uses this app okay so first is the Taobao app and the Pindodo app those two apps are the main shopping apps in China there's others yeah there are others but those two are the main shopping apps in China so on today's video I'll be showing you guys the advantages of using Taobao the advantages of using Pindodo the advantages of using Taobao and the advantages of using Pindodo so I'll be showing you guys there are advantages and disadvantages of this these two apps okay so let's begin with Taobao. Taobao is the most popular app. Yeah, it's the most popular app being used in China. It is used by everyone. Like, yeah, it's most popular and it's being used by everyone. So with the Taobao app, so many people, so majority of the population do use this app and they believe so, so much in the app. They, we. <laughs> because i'm in china too so we believe so so much in this app and yeah that's it and everything you want everything like everything name it dresses foodstuffs everything you can just check on that app and you'll get it both the chinese food and the african food you can get it. african like worldwide let me not just limit it on african chinese like worldwide you can get your food stuffs there in that shopping app okay so let's go to the advantages of using taobao one of the main advantages of using taobao is the convenience like any other online shopping app the first advantage is always the convenience right at the convenience of your home of your room on your bed you can just order whatever thing you want and it's going to be delivered to you at your doorstep without stress without you going in there to start bargaining the prices and stuff like that so the first the main advantage of taobao is it 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 it's convenient <laughs> yeah the main advantage of the of using taobao app it is convenient it's very very convenient for everyone it's very very convenient and so the next advantage is it is guaranteed yeah taobao is somehow guaranteed yeah taobao is guaranteed in the sense that you can purchase a good like you can purchase maybe for example you purchase a shoes okay and when it comes when it when it's been delivered to you you realize that what you purchase you don't like it or like you purchase something else and something else is being delivered to you you have that choice to send it back to the supplier okay you have to you can return it if you don't like the goods or anything you can return it back to them and your money is going to be refunded to you without so much without any conflict or anything so you just need to talk to the supplier and the supplier will give, give you his or her address and you return back the goods. And when the supplier receives that good, your money is going to be refunded back to you. Maybe in your bank account or in your WeChat or your Alipay, anyone in which you used to buy, it, your money is going to be refunded there. So now we go to the third advantages of using Taobao. I'll just be giving three advantages of anyone. I don't want this video to be very, very long, okay? So the third advantage of using Taobao is that it's a retail um it's a retail app. Yeah, yeah, good. It's a retail app. You can just buy a like a pair of shoes, just one. You can just buy maybe just a single dress. You can just buy some just one. Okay. So this app is a retail app. You can buy whatever. Although you can still buy in large quantities, but you have the opportunity to buy just one it's okay 
so if you want just maybe one of these product one of this one yeah you're free you can buy it so that's the third advantages of using taobao okay now let me go to the advantage of using pindodo so that's the advantage of using taobao let me go to the advantage of using pindodo pindodo online uh, it's also like taobao it's an online shopping app in china but the difference between pindodo and uh taobao is that with taobao it's a retail app with pindodo it's a wholesale app okay so that's the differences taobao retail and pindodo wholesale okay so pindodo is a wholesale app even though the app is being designed here is the logic behind this the app is being designed for wholesale but you can buy one okay I don't know if I make sense there <laughs> yeah but that's it the app is designed for wholesale but you can buy one just like a single product of what you want okay so with the Pindodo app this is how it functions once you want to buy if you want to buy just like just one of what of whatever you want to buy okay let's continue with the example of shoes okay if you want to buy just one of that pair of shoes you when you open the shop where you want to buy you will see like people who've bought it who've bought maybe that particular shoes okay you see them there so with the pindodo app you need to pair with someone i'll just put a screenshot of what i'm talking on the screen here so that you understand what i'm talking about you need to pair with someone so that your goods can be delivered fast if you don't pair with someone if you buy alone they'll tell you you have to wait for some period of time so that someone can pair with you for them to deliver your good so that's how with the pinodo app works you need to pair with someone for some for, for your stuff to be delivered if you don't pair you need to wait for someone to pay with you so that your stuff will be delivered okay so that's the wholesale aspect of pinodo yeah now the advantages of pinodo like taobao it's also very very convenient yeah pinodo it's also very very convenient like taobao and the next advantage is that it is cheap <laughs> yeah pindodo it's very cheap compared to to taobao it's very cheap first of all because pindodo is designed to be a wholesale app so with the wholesale your price is obviously dropped somehow the price are actually not the same okay so with a pindodo app it's cheap compared to taobao and now the third advantage of using pindodo is that you don't need to pay for transportation costs but with Taobao, you have to pay for transportation costs because if there are some places, not all, some pla but majority of the cases, you need to pay for transportation costs if you're using um, Taobao. But with Pinodo, no matter where you are, no matter the village in which you are, your transportation is free. There's no transportation costs using Pinodo app. Okay. Yeah. So now we go to the disadvantages. Disadvantages of Taobao, first of all, as I said, transportation costs. Ah, you need to pay transportation costs. Maybe you have to buy maybe say a product for for about 20 yuan. Okay, you see transportation costs 8 yuan, 10 yuan. Like it's expensive. It's somehow it's expensive if you are just buying just that. So at the end of the day, you realize that you have to pay maybe 28 yuan or 30 yuan for a particular product, including the transport costs. Okay. So with Taobao, it's expensive. Yeah. It's expensive. That was is expensive. Even though it's very assured, but it's expensive. Okay. The next disadvantages of Taobao is that products take um, longer time to be delivered. That's what I noticed. Sometimes you buy a product, it has to be there. It has to stay there for some period of time before it's been delivered to you. So that time, it not very long though. So two days some three days some four days not but not up to a week but just that period of time it's it takes very long that's long time for something that you really need it urgently so it's going to take some time before it's been delivered and now the last disadvantage of um taobao is that for as i earlier said if you buy a product that you're not satisfied with it you have the the um you can return it okay you can once you return that product once you ask for a refund it might take again another longer time maybe it might take some two days before it's been refunded to you so just imagine in a case that okay you have to buy this product and you bought it actually and 
it got here you don't like it you have to return it so that you can buy another one you see so that period of time you have to first of all return it and wait until they they receive it before you they, they can return your money and it also works if you maybe you buy a product and later on you change your mind like later on you don't want that product and you ask for a refund it's not going to be refunded immediately no without but it, it does not function like that it's not going to be refunded immediately it might take some time before they refund that money not very long time but it will take some time definitely why with the pindodo app if you buy something and you like you change your mind in the course of it you ask for a refund immediately they are going to refund you like it's automatic you just ask for refund immediately they're going to be it's your money is going to be refunded okay so those are the three disadvantages of taobao and now let's go to the disadvantages of pindodo with pindodo has an area said if you don't pay with someone since the retail is an is a, sorry it's a wholesale app if you don't pay with someone your goods won't be delivered like immediately you have to wait for someone to pay with you before it's been delivered so if you are like a new user there you you don't know about that you might just go ahead and buy it as if you're buying with um, the taobao because taobao you just buy alone and your goods are going to be delivered but with the pindodo if you buy alone you need to wait for some time before your goods are being delivered okay so that's the disadvantages of it if you don't really know that you have to pay with someone and you just buy like that your goods are also to be will be delayed before being delivered to you and next the disadvantage of pindodo too oh <laughs> i don't know this disadvantage is very funny but yeah it's good i don't like it right so like personally i don't like it so the disadvantage of pindodo is that if I buy, if for example, I buy this book, all my contacts will know that I bought this book. <laughs> yeah, that's how Pinodo works. Like your contacts, your friends on Pinodo we are going to see whatever thing you buy. If you have to buy, maybe whatever you buy, your friends will know that you bought this thing at this price and we don't want it. You don't want to go and buy some cheap things on Taobao and you come and be on Pindodo, sorry, and you come and be slain and someone will say, hmm, look at that one. You bought this for this for this sum. We don't want that. So that's another disadvantage of Pindodo bread. For the Pindodo people, it's an advantage to them because maybe I might buy this thing and my friend sees the thing and love it and buys it too. You understand? But for the customers no it's a no for me i don't like it i love to buy my things and i know that i bought my thing and no one will even know if i bought it and no one will even know how much i bought it okay yeah so now the third disadvantage of pindodo is that pindodo is that with the pindodo app you don't have i don't think for this i'm not very sure but i tried comparing the two like the taobao and the pindodo the taobao has so many stuffs like so many like the european stuff the american stuff so many is there but with the taobao it's it's not that much it is there but not that much compared to to um to taobao okay so pindodo it's somehow limited you understand with the stuff in which it has it's somehow limited compared to the taobao yeah so guys those are the three advantages of Taobao, three advantages of Pindodo, three disadvantages of Taobao and three disadvantages of Pindodo. So it's now left for you guys, if you're using the app, it's left for you guys to know what to choose and how to go about it. Okay, yeah. So until this video, I'll end here, but there will be a part two of this video on how I'll be showing you guys on how to use the app, like visual using. I'll be showing you guys how to use it, how to go about it and everything, okay? So guys, if you've watched up to this point, just give this video a thumbs up because I'm sure you learned something new. Yeah, give this video a thumbs up, like, share, comment and also do not forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Just click that subscription button down below and turn on the notification bell so that whenever a new video is being uploaded, you will be notified. So guys, see you guys in the part two of this video. Thank you. Bye.